Hi guys, I'm back. <laughs> I think, kind of, ish. Either way, I'm here. I've got a video for you, so strap in. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. It's gonna be a bumpy ride. No, it's not. Everything's gonna be cool. Everything's fine. <laughs> So it's been a while, life's been insane, I'm not even going to warrant with an explanation where I've been. <sighs> Hope you're all doing well and uh, coping as best you can with this crazy world we're living in right now. So I hope you're all doing good. Uh, yeah, so Thumper uh, treated me to a, a nice little treat the other day. As you know, we're now coming up for spooky season, which <laughs> clearly I'm very happy about. Um, which means it's coming to the time where we have loads of candles on and we're spending time inside so I've been getting a lot of candles and things lately uh, and we have a family member that has started a candle and wax milk company so Thumper made an order for me and they've basically put me like a really nice looking hamper together so the reason I'm filming is because I was so darn excited about opening up something that I was like this is the one that's worth filming for so it got dropped off the other day company name is Lux Flames. If you go to my Facebook page, I put a picture up of the said hamper, which I'll show you in a minute. I realise you have no clue what I'm talking about. Nailed it. <laughs> I put a picture on my Facebook page um, and there is a link there to their Facebook page. So the thing that has made me so excited and I actually go get dressed and, you know, film uh, is this bad boy. Look. And all this. So in this basket there is all candles, wax melts, room sprays, carpet cleaners, everything um, and all with a bit of a Halloween type of theme so I can finally, I'm already excited. <laughs> so it's time to open up this bad boy. Uh, the control I have had to have for like two days when this got dropped off is unreal guys so give me a minute. <laughs> so this is the company and it says scented products for your home and spiritual needs find us on Facebook at Lux Flames and there is another there so if you go to my Facebook page as I say there is a picture with all this on so cuteness and I'm already loving how much Halloweeny vibes I'm getting I'm so excited excuse me while I rustle a minute it feels such a shame to like rip into this, but at the same time, give. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> this is the hamper. I mean, look. Look at it all. Oh, so pretty. I'm pretty much just going to store all of these things in this. I don't know where to start. I'm too excited. I'm like a kid at Christmas. <laughs> I believe this is one of the room sprays, which you can pretty much use on carpet and soft furnitures, I believe. And it's patchouli. Off to a great start, guys. Oh. So, I don't know about you, but patchouli is like my happy smell. If you don't know what patchouli is, basically it's like a very sweet but earthy kind of smell. <laughs> That's really not that helpful. It's quite musky as well, um, if that helps. Um, so it is on the sweet side. Oh, I know I've already sprayed, but girl, get it on me. <laughs> it's not body spray, but that smells just divine. I have body oils and all sorts, and now my room can smell like it as well. That's really cool. And it's a really good bottle, actually. So I'm loving that. Ooh, so we've got a little candle. So as I say, they do candles, wax melt, room sprays, carpet cleaners, all sorts. Um, so this candle is ginger spice. And I mean, who doesn't want that in their life? Come on. Mm, now, okay, so it says ginger spice and it smells just like a gingerbread biscuit kind of thing. Which is funny because like most people associate gingerbread houses with Christmas and things however I used to really enjoy making like a spooky Halloween gingerbread house I mean it's not just Christmas that gets to have fun right and this is what it just makes me think of that's really nice so, these two little pots 
I'm not sure whether these are wax melt. There's two of them. Spicy pumpkin. So I'm just going to open one because they're both the same. Um, oh my god. It reminds me of... Um, did you ever have... I don't know if... So when I grew up I used to have a lot of these sweets called fireballs and they were like cinnamon hard boiled sweets. Um, and it smells... I get spicy more, like cinnamon more than pumpkin, but there is a hint of pumpkin there, definitely. I'm not entirely sure what they are, but if you look, they're like little crystals. I'm guessing they're some kind of wax melt thing. I don't know. I'd have to look that up. Some of the stuff is for cleaning, so I think these might be like buns from a toilet or something, maybe? One minute. Okay, so I've just double checked. So these ones are from the toilet. <laughs> So basically it's just like dropping in a little bath with a fizz blah, blah, blah. and these are called Spooktacular and it's the same sort of um, pumpkin-y type smell I've got going on. It's a very, it's a very Halloween-y kind of smell uh, and basically you drop one of those into the toilet and it foams up and makes your bathroom smell. The next thing that I've grabbed from the basket are these two, and these are the little wax melts, and I believe these are patchouli as well. Because um, on our order you can basically pick your scents as well as what kind of items you have. Um, <laughs> that literally stopped my brain from working. <laughs> so basically you snap a bar off and put it into a wax melt with like a tea light hole underneath and just let the smell fill your room. And I love the colours, they are very on season. <laughs> Giving me witchy vibes. Ooh. Okay, so this I believe is the carpet cleaner. So what you do is you sprinkle it, it's so shiny. <laughs> I can't even get the camera to focus on it. Um, down here maybe? No. Okay. So basically you sprinkle this on your carpet and leave it there for like five to ten minutes at least and then screw it up. And this one is broomstick. No, I'm gonna open it. This is where it like goes ever it didn't. I'm good. Oh, that's nice. I'm getting like citrusy a little bit of cinnamon there's some kind of um it's not like rosemary but there's some kind of earthy scent in there with it it's probably patchouli it's basically it's probably patchouli i might have to do the bedroom with this one because clearly it needs a spooky kind of scent so broomstick feels apt there's still so much stuff it's unreal Ooh. so we have patchouli again bonfire maybe this one's hold on yeah okay so i think the green and orange bars are patchouli wax melts and then these ones are bonfire so the blue and orange are bonfire i actually miss bonfires i'd really like to go to like a proper spooky bonfire and just eat toffee apples and stuff oh my god i think like as much as i know patchouli is my favorite bonfire smells incredible Oh, I don't, I can't even like pick out the individual scents, but it's, there's like a slight citrusy note, so I feel like pumpkin's probably one of them in there. It's almost like there's like a berry smell in there, but not quite. That's really nice. It's quite sweet. Um, but there's also like, again, there's that earthy note, which this time of year, I don't know, I just really enjoy, well, I say this time of year, that's a lie. <laughs> year round, I would just smell witch, burn witchy smells. Let's just be honest, shall we? But that smells absolutely divine. I think that might actually be the first one that I melt down rather than the patchouli because I already know I'm good with patchouli. Do you know what I mean? Like, we've already got that connection. <laughs> so, this is the same scent. This is the carpet cleaner of um, stuff again, but it's in the same scent as the toilet ones. Yeah. So there's like, again, there is a slight citrusy note, but the biggest thing I'm picking up on is almost like a gingerbread-y type smell. 
I'm probably completely off. And when I look it up, I'll be like, no, you idiot, that's completely wrong. And that is fat lots. That's really interesting because I thought that like my favourite smell was like out of this. Like when I knew that patchouli was one of the things being selected, I was like, it's clearly going to be the patchouli that wins every time. However, um, that that's really nice. Um, there's almost like a pumpkiny smell to it a little bit as well. Um, and this comes from having carved many, many pumpkins in my time and also making pumpkin soup. I'm so excited about pumpkin soup time coming up. I think so good. Um, but yeah, there's definitely like a pumpkin note in there, like a pumpkin pie kind of smell. Ooh, we've had some more toilet bombs. Uh, this is blood cherry. Ooh. Ooh, nice. Okay, yeah. That's definitely... Um, it, well, obviously, it says it in the title, you genius. But there's like a cherry, but there's also um like a, the, again there's that slight citrusy note back there like so far none of the smells have just been just across the board other than like the patchouli one which of course it's just patchouli but the ones that are the themed ones there's it's not just the one smell you're getting you're getting like layers of smells that's really nice i'm so tempted just to go like run and throw one of those down the toilet now <laughs> So the next thing I've brought out is one of the Blood Cherry cocktail and I believe these are called Sizzler Pops. Um, I think you put them into wax melts like you would, you just sort of sprinkle in the flakes or you can like sprinkle them. So you put your wax melt in, I'm guessing, put your wax melt in and then you sort of sprinkle some of these on top to change the combination up a bit. I really like the Blood Cherry. That's a beautiful combination it's very fruity it's a lot more fruity than some of the other ones um yeah that's nice i'm gonna be off my face in a minute because i've just sniffed so many things so we've still got having already seen what we've seen we still have this i'm gonna do the candle last i think so we've got another uh, another carpet spray and room spray and this one is ginger spice i smelt ginger spice on something before didn't i I did but you know what it was the candle it was the candle that I smelled but I am going in oh yeah that's so nice it's literally like gingerbread but then again it's not just like the gingerbread smell there's layers of different things within there so it's very sweet but at the same time there's this like extra punch at the end of it that it's just I don't know that's so nice and I feel like when you do your carpets with this like it's gonna linger for quite a long time I like my bedroom it smells so good right now <laughs> it's candle it's bonfire oh yay I have the candle version of it so this scent honestly it just makes you feel like you've been out on a pumpkin patch for the afternoon and you're just sitting having a nice like hot chocolate before you go home and you it's like a little fire going you know like autumn nights it's no oh, it's so good there's a little bit of like i don't know whether it's um fern or you know there's like plant tree based ones you can get there's a little bit of like a earthy tree smell that's probably just my brain because i have such an overactive imagination that my brain's already might like, put the situation to this smell <laughs> just how my brain works so i'm getting like trees <laughs> which bonfire you'd be burning wood okay i get it well played well played that's really nice they're all quite sweet but they're not um so far i haven't found any of them to be overpoweringly sweet because as much as i like like a really sweet scented candle and room sprays and stuff sometimes they can be like artificially sweet None of the things I've smelt so far smell artificial in any way. Like, they just smell natural. Like, that's how this is, like, it was just magically collected and put into a jar that you can burn. We'll go with that. <laughs> but genuinely, like, none of it smells artificial. It smells really nice. Oh, this is cute. So, as, like, if you were to just order a few things on one of those smaller boxes, I'm guessing it's probably going to come in something this sort of size. 
which I think if you're getting this as a gift, well, if you're getting it for a gift as yourself, even, <laughs> this is cute. Um, oh my god, they're all different shapes. I... <laughs> okay, okay, the, the bar has just been risen. So I was already really happy with this, but they're spooky shapes, like, my little gothy soul is so happy right now. So, let me show you some of these, because they're, oh, they're so cute. <laughs> okay, so we have a spooktacular. Look at them! These are the wax melts. Um, oh my god, I'm going to have to like, get more wax melt holders. I have a couple, luckily. I do have a couple. Um, that, oh, but look, there's like little scream faces. It's like the scream. They are so cute. Like the little faces, like they give me uh, my Edward Monks, the scream vibe. Like you can just see it with the painting and everything. And I think it'll be so in my weird, <laughs> twisted brain watching their little faces melt. <laughs> like, I mean, uh, then we have Bonfire. So I'll put the Bonfire one. I think genuinely Bonfire is my favourite one. And like I say, I genuinely thought that it was going to be patchouli. But the spicy pumpkin and bonfire are just... Oh, if these were sweet, these would not be here right now. These would be gone. Um, so bonfire is back. I mean, look at them. The colours and everything. And they look as though they're shimmery. So as they melt, the actual wax will be shimmery in the thing, which is... Who doesn't love that, right? Oh, that smell is like up there with my happy smell, so well played. Oh, cuteness. Okay, so spicy pumpkin, which again, that's it's a close second between bonfire and the spooky pumpkin. But look at them, some real efforts by it, and like they're really thick, so it's not just gonna disappear really quickly. Blood cherry cocktail. Oh, they're too cute and the colours, just the, ah, oh, the colours, I love them, they're cute, um, and broomstick, yes, that's, this one's not quite as sweet as, say, like, Spooktacular and Bonfire, this is a bit more on the earthy side, so this is definitely more patchouli heavy, um, than some of the others, but the fact that it's such a range means that some days you're feeling a nice sweet smell, other days, you know, you're just not, you want in something a bit more grounding. That's the word I'm looking for, grounding. Um, and this would be one for like one of those kind of days. Because there's a little bit of sweetness there, but it isn't the main focus of that smell. That's divine. So that is my little wax melt collection, which I will be keeping in the box just ready to go like collectively wherever this sits in storage that space is gonna smell so good like chef kisses the last and final thing is this beautiful thing and it's blood cherry beautiful okay so it's a large candle this time rather than the little one and there's loads of really cute little vinyl bats and stuff and look there's a spooky house on it I missed that before, I literally caught it on the screen like, hi, I'm here. So in my bedroom, I'll show you some of like the weird things I have. Um, so like, I have this set of creepy plants. Because, <laughs> you know, why wouldn't you? Um, so I've got like all these kind of things. And then my candles generally, because obviously Code Orange has started, I've been picking up like, so this is a candle. Um, I've been picking up spooky themed candles anyway, getting ready to swap in. Uh, and I've been trying to get jars that basically I can refill and reuse. And that is something else that Lux Flames actually provides as a service. If you've got a particular container for candles or whatever, um, you can actually get them to them and they will use their candle base and whatever scent you pick and they can refill your candle. Um, so it's not just like you have to buy it brand new made if you've got something very specific and sp special to you. So like with my ghost one, if I finished that, that's something I could have refilled and it's going to happen. Um, <laughs> I know I'm getting my candles from now on. 
it kind of, do you know what it reminds me of? I've literally just like put my schnoz right in there. It reminds me of like the jelly bean blood orange flavour that you can get. Yeah, that's what it makes me think of. And it's festive black, which I love. Or is it dark blue? It might be dark blue. I think it's glittery. <laughs> okay, five year old, calm down. Why am I so excited about glitter? That's stupid. But yeah, this, that's absolutely magical. So I'm happy with that. Very happy with that indeed. So there you have it guys. That was my hamper from Lux Flames and Honestly, I absolutely love it and it was, I'm so excited to like, use all of these. Um, I'm not entirely sure what this cost because it was a gift from Thumper. Um, however, I know that they do different hamper sizes. You can buy just individual candles and melts. And I'm sure if you got in touch and messaged, inquired about a hamper like this for someone, if you had enough time, I'm sure they would accommodate you. Um, or do, at least let you know what they have similar to what you're after. So there's such a range and you can use these in so many different ways, which I love. Um, it's not just literally burning a candle, you can change it up quite a bit with this. So thank you so much Thumper for getting it in the first place and also to everyone at Lux Flames who made it because this is just made my witchy little heart very happy. If you'd like to get in touch about finding any of their stuff, like I say, I have left a link to it on my Facebook page. Um, I don't post very often, but because I've specifically done this, I've left their details on there. Um, but check them out. If you're in the UK, these guys, you need to just get in touch with them and like get yourself some magical Halloween -y stuff because why not treat yourself? And the number of scents, if you're not into the spooky things, they do a lot more of the sort of what I would call normal people smells. <laughs> so you can get, they've got so many scents available, it's unreal. I just happen to like the spookiness and it's coming up to that time of year. So if you know someone that is into it, that's a cool little gift like I, I love that this is something I got as a present so I'm pretty sure if you know someone that's into the spooky kind of stuff this would just make their little dark hearts very happy because mine is right now um, I mean in this hamper it's huge my whole house it's gonna be like a trick-or-treat trip and I cannot wait so I'm gonna go and basically <laughs> pick a room and a scent and I'm going ham on it Thank you so much for watching and I know it's been a while and I don't know when I'm going to film next. I'm not even going to promise that, you know, that's an option right now. I don't know. I don't know when I'm going to film next, but that just had to be done. It was so worth it. Um, I'm going to go make the house smell magical now and enjoy myself for the rest of the afternoon. Um, I hope you're doing well. I hope you look after yourselves and everyone around you and just do your best at being good in this crazy, crazy world. So... I'll see you all soon. <laughs>